Hi everyone! Um, I've been asked to do a another tutorial about creating a black background in Photoshop um, to create an image that looks similar to this was one of my finis finished images from before. Um, just going to show you how I came up with this image um, from this one. So you can see I photographed baby on a black fleece background laying on my bean bag and that just allows baby to be safe at all times. And um, unfortunately, the fleece does create some, I'm just going to flatten my image here because I was playing around. Um, the black background does collect quite a bit of fleece, so I'm just going to go ahead first of all and um, get rid of the fleece uh, lint here that's collected uh, because it's a bit shinier than the rest of the things and might show up a bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer over here on the right on my Mac that's Command J or you can hold, select and hold your background layer and drag it down to this new layer uh, button at the bottom. Um, now I have three and I don't need three so right click oops can't delete my background right click delete layer and you'll end up with um, with just what you need. So Command J on the Mac does that extra layer. Patch tool over here on the left is what I'll be using. So sometimes it's on the spot healing brush. I prefer to use the patch tool. And all you're going to do is select the area that you want um, to change. And you're going to drag it to an area that's similar in lighting and texture that you like. So I'm just doing this quickly here and now. And it's pretty good. I'll just get rid of this big crease in my blanket. I usually have it pulled tighter than that. But this little guy was giving me a run for my money. So I was doing things a bit more quickly than usual. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is use my quick select tool on the left hand side. Uh, quick selection tool is what it's called and I am going to select baby so I'm just making my brush a little bit bigger I own a Wacom tablet so um, to change the side of, size of your brush it's control and option held down together and then you just drag left and right um, if you don't have a Wacom tablet I do suggest getting one um, but in the meantime you can go up here and you can just change your size of your brush using this um, slider here. So you're just going to select around baby and so I'm just going to deselect in the middle of the arms here so if you I just changed my brush to smaller and I'm just going to hold option this time and it you can see the little minus sign that comes up it'll take away from your selection and when once you release it you get the plus sign again to add to your selection. Sorry if you can hear my crazy kids upstairs. That's my husband looking after them. And looks pretty good. So then I'm just going to feather the edges a little bit. So um, I right click and select feather. And I'm going to feather by five pixels. Next step is to right click again and select inverse. So again, you're going to right click, select inverse. So what this does is it selects the opposite of what you had. So we had selected baby in dad's arms and now we have the black background selected. What you're going to do now is select a level, um, create a levels layer. So over here on the right at the very bottom is a little circle that's half filled. You're going to click on that and select levels. And because you had that area selected, it's only going to be working on the black background. You can see here that there's actually a layer mask and the baby and dad's arms are layer, are masked out. They're blacked out of the layer mask. So now what we're going to do is take this little window that pops up. This is the levels window that's right here. And we are going to take this middle slider and slide it all the way to the right. Okay. So if I turn that level off, that layer, sorry, off and back on, you can see that it completely blacked out the background there. Um, if you end up with some choppy areas around baby that you don't like, this is a layer mask. So now we have the opportunity to use a black color 
with the, the brush at 100% opacity. So that means that we're going to be masking out everything that we touch. Um, so paintbrush black is going to mask off what we just did. If we chose white, we would be painting it on. So we're going to paint it off at 100%. So I'm just going to zoom in here. I notice his head's looking a bit funny. Didn't really mask properly. So I'm just painting off of off that level flare um, in his head area here. Here we go. And if you noticed any other areas, you could do that as well. Um, so that's it. So um, the rest of the image. Uh, adjustments, I just flattened the image there. Um, we're with creating a, um, obviously doing the newborn skin touch-ups. Um, this image is actually much too warm. Um, I do like warm images, but it's just, it's gone a little bit too far. So I would cool it down, do my normal newborn edits, some skin smoothing, and I would uh, recrop a little bit um, to make it look like baby could actually be suspended in the air like this. Right now the baby's head might be tipped back a bit more. Um, so that's all in just the cropping. But I'll stop there for this video uh, because the point of this one is to just show you how to create that nice black background and I hope that is helpful.